Hi everybody, welcome back to the machine shop. Uh, today is an exciting day, a little bit off program, but not so much. Um, recently I was able to acquire a good chunk of woodworking equipment from a local craftsman who has had a change of heart, he's moving out of town, he did great work, but it's just time for him to move out of the business, in his mind. And um, I was able to buy a lot of his equipment before he packed it up and moved it out uh, and put it in a storage unit. So I went down to Black Dog, I borrowed the giant box truck, and yesterday in a uh, hurried adventure because of the rain, uh, me, my buddy Steve Heinzel, also a talented fabricator, and Greg, uh, the guy I bought the stuff from, all loaded this truck and his truck with his entire shop. And uh, today we are unloading it here at the machine shop. And I got some really cool stuff. Can't wait to show you guys what's in the truck. Some staples. You know, I got a table saw, Powermatic 66 table saw, dust collector, uh, assortment of power tools. Um, I can't even remember what else I got. It's, it's, it was a late night yesterday. So today we're gonna unpack the truck, load it in here, and in the process we're gonna get to go over what I got and uh, where to put it. Start laying out tools in the shop. So let's get into it. So I've just started opening the truck. Let's climb in here, see what we got. So first of all, got all kinds of sheet stock, cabinet grade, paint grade, MDF, some birch plywood, some veneer stuff, really nice things. Powermatic dust collector, air hose reels, really helpful. Uh, there's the table saw and back there is the outfeed table for the table saw that Greg built himself. I also got this nice clamp rack and a bunch of Bessie bar clamps. Uh, some Makita power tools, pass load framers, framing nailers. These cool tables, um, two looks like four by eight wooden work tables. This one is perforated uh, with specifically sized holes that can accept certain modular clamp and fixture jigs. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, and then just a bunch of other random bits and bobs that Greg didn't need and he didn't want to have to put into a storage unit. So I, I accepted them. So uh, today's mission, unload this into the building, take this truck back, and then uh, actually gotta go back over there with Steve later and get some more stuff, but uh, let's get moving. All right, so real quick, what I think I'm gonna do, all that plywood I have in the truck, I'm gonna get some of it and cut some shelves for this rack here so that I have a place to put, uh, to put some tools and equipment and stuff. It's like a ballet. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Steve. Hey. Hi Steve. Steve and I have worked together for a long time. We have some grand ideas for this space in the future, but he's here to help me move this stuff in. But speaking of stuff, this is some of the things I snagged from Greg's shop. Look at these Bessie I-beams. You can never have too many clamps, right? Love me some clamps. All right, on to the table saw and tables.
Okay, so me and the hat are back here on Roar Avenue. It's Friday and it's time for another big move. I think the last video we titled Big Move was moving the stuff out of the shop and that was like a year and a half ago, uh, which has been, I didn't want it to be that long ago. I think I told Connor and Jerry that I was only gonna need their building for about three months. <laughs> so I'm doing something real special for them here soon, getting them a nice gift to uh, partially repay my inconvenience. But let's go, I'm walking to the building now, about five, six doors down from my building. And we're gonna see what's left, what we're gonna try to move today, or at least partially. And this is all my stuff on the right. So let's go over what we got and what we're gonna move. I don't have any help today, so I'm really just gonna be able to move anything that's on a pallet or can be carried by the forklift. But we have a 12 foot Lodge and Shipley metal lathe. We have a six foot Hendy line drive lathe. We have this big Delta drill press with gear reduction motor. Old air compressor. I'm not sure if it still works or not, but we saved it. This cool Johnson horizontal bandsaw, which actually works really well still. Of course, we got a bridge port. That thing is gonna be real nice to have. Works great, lots of tooling for it. We have a brown and sharp horizontal milling machine with a dividing head, which is that guy right there. We have this surface grinder, which is kind of cool. I'm sure we'll find a use for that. Various metal stock beams, shafts, uh, tables, worktops. Back there, you got more tables. We got a giant late 1800s radial drill press, a LeBlond horizontal milling machine that needs a little bit of work, a vertical bandsaw press, Craftsman drill press, a Sebastian lathe, a turret lathe, and then, ooh, a wood stove. Forgot about that. And then all this carding, tooling, this weird desk. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm gonna try to start moving today. Again, I'm only gonna be able to start on the stuff that's, uh, that's palletized, but let's get into it. Hey guys, just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like what you see, like, subscribe. Hopefully I'm near the end of doing these renovation videos and we can actually start building things. Uh, in real time, because you're seeing these videos a little after everything happened, I'm a week or two away from actually working out of this space. So I'm very excited to start showing you guys the fabrication side of my brain, what we're gonna be able to do here. And spoiler alert, we got a CNC plasma cutter, hopefully coming our way in a few weeks. So stay tuned, see you on the next one.